Hello, 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 everybody. Good evening, good evening. This is Caron, your ATX Stampin' Lady. I am here in Austin, Texas tonight, and you guys, I'm totally excited for mystery stamping. It is one of the few, well, I have a lot of pleasures, but it is one of the, the pleasures that I enjoy coming to you live on YouTube um, to share with you mystery stamping. So I hope you were able to gather all of the supplies already and you're excited to join us. As always though, let me go ahead and take care of all of the little admin things that I wanna make sure that you are aware of that's coming up with Stampin' Up. Um, something that's really important though, you guys, is if you shopped when in my online store, even if you didn't shop in my online store, to uh, st online store, this is the last week for you to utilize and spend your bonus bonus bucks coupons that you earned from July. Okay, so you any shopping that you did in July that was fifty dollars or more, you got an email <clears throat> from Stampin' Up with a um, a five dollar coupon that you could redeem in August. So, if you shopped with me or with any other demonstrator and you um, spend $50 or more for every $50 you would have received an email directly from Stampin' Up that had a code in there for your um, bonus bucks coupon. So if you have used that, the last time to use that coupon is August 31st. So you don't want to miss out, you guys. You earned those coupons. Make sure that you use them, okay? So if you are shopping with me, I would love it. If you shopped with me, that's great. If not, just don't lose out on your coupons, okay? Just just making sure that you are aware of that, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so paper pumpkin, you guys. Here's the next paper pumpkin. Again, subscription period ends um, September 11th. So you still have quite a bit of time within which to um, subscribe uh, to the current paper pumpkin. Um, the description for paper pumpkin is listed in my um, description box but it's also on the little graphic that you see there. Um, I'm excited about this box. Um, as a Paper Bump Pumpkin subscriber, there is a, a journal. Oh my gosh. And the I, I buy journals like they're going out of style. I just love them. I like to keep uh, track of my thoughts. Um, so definitely enjoy journals. <clears throat> It is an add-on product to this, and you have to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to be able to purchase the planner, okay? All right, let's see what else we've got coming up. So let's see. Oh, the next thing we've got coming up, you guys, the paper share. I shared with you in my Facebook post, <clears throat> on my Facebook page, excuse me, um, in my blog, and I think here that the paper share, I'm doing a paper share from the catalog, from the current catalog, the uh, September to December mini catalog. There are 15 uh, new designer series papers and specialty papers that's included in the new, um, the new catalog, okay? This catalog is going live on the 6th of September. So you need to, if you sign up for my paper share, guys, I need at least four people to sign up for my paper share for it to be a viable share. And so with that paper share, you guys, what will happen is you will get a portion of each of the 15 uh, desire se designer series or pattern paper and specialty papers that's in the catalog. In addition to that, if sub while supplies are available, um, you will get the add-on for the, um, I, I want to call the name of it right. I think it's called Berry, um, the Berry Christmas Memories and More card pack. Okay, that will be included um, with your order, okay? So here's the deal. The last time to sign up, the last date to sign up is um, August 31st because come, I need to get the invoices out so they can be paid. And then from there, I can be ready to order immediately on the 6th of August based upon, so I can get those um, items back, get them cut and into your hot little hands, okay? Um, comment below if you'd like for me to give you more information on it. But I'm totally excited about this paper share. The paper is gorgeous. Take a look at my video that I did with my unboxing. 
and you will see hold on a minute you guys and you will see um sorry about that my dog came, my dogs came in you will see the 15 uh designer series papers and specialty papers in person all right so with that you guys as always <clears throat> I'm ready to get started. Are you? All right, let me take a minute before I get started. We're seven minutes in. Let me see if anybody's joined us um, on, YouTube, on YouTube. And who's ready? All righty. So. All righty. So. If you subscribe to my newsletter and my... Um, my Facebook page, my group, you should have received clue number one, okay? And clue number one, um, I, I guess, is like I always say, I email the clues on the Saturday prior. Well, it's, I may email them on the Saturday before. That way you have plenty of time to get your supplies uh, picked, picked out, okay? Um, so subscribe to my newsletter subscribe to my blog clue number one is in the description of this YouTube video um, I also have it on my website so any way you that you follow me I have put the cart the clues on the that social media outlet for you okay so before we begin let me thank you guys for joining me today if you are new person new to my my youtube channel thank you and welcome as always i know you have your choice of demonstrator and that de that the fact that you chose to spend some time with me i really appreciate you thank you very much if you're returning and this is your because i think this is our sixth mystery but uh mystery stamping if you've returned for the sixth time in a row, that means you've enjoyed them. So I'm glad and welcome back. All right, here we go. Clue number one, I'm just gonna read them off you guys. That way, um, if you didn't have them and if you had a question about any of them, now's the time to ask me about it, okay? So car cardstock color one, you need three pieces of whatever that basic cardstock color is that you're choosing, okay? One piece is gonna be four and a quarter by five and a half. You'll need one piece that's two and three quarters by four and one quarter. You'll need a piece that is three and three quarter by five. All right. You should have grabbed all that. Then the next thing you're going to need is a piece of designer series paper. That's five and a quarter by five. And you'll need some basic, basic white or just white cardstock, very vanilla or ivory or cream, whatever your base color is that's going to go with your designer series paper. That's up to you. And that is, you'll need a piece that's three and a half by four and three quarter. And you'll need another piece that's two and a half by four inches wide. So if you got all that, grab it all and let's get started. Oops. What are you guys drinking tonight? Y'all, I'm drinking water. I am doing this challenge at work. And it's, you have, the challenge is. You got to drink 32 ounces of water every single day. Y'all, I do not drink that much water, but I have been drinking. I've been a water guzzling fool and 32 ounces is a lot. I never realized how much it was, but it's a lot. So I have to keep drinking um, water to make sure that I get my 32 ounces in today. Okay. All right. So let's go to clue number two. Clue number two says, on your designer series, your designer series paper, I already saw that first mistake right there. Hey, Sue, woohoo, welcome, finally you made it live. So for clue number two, on your five and a quarter by 12 inch designer series paper, you're gonna cut the score that at two inches, five in it, inches, and eight inches, okay? Two inches, 
five inches and eight inches and you're going to burnish those folds okay Now each of your folds is you're going to alternate. So you're going to have mountain valley. Let me let me see. So you're going to have mountain. So you're going to start off valley, mountain, valley, if that makes any sense. Okay. So again, valley, mountain, valley. So valley, mountain valley and i can't draw so i hope that makes sense to you okay <laughs> so you got valley mountain valley all righty let me know when when i can move on i know sue says she's not playing with us today she didn't grab her supplies So I'm gonna wait just a little bit before we move on to clue number three. Now, one of the items that I told you guys to grab was um, whatever your stamp set was so that you had at least one or two, in one image that you could use as a border image. So whatever that image is that you're deciding to use, you're gonna stamp that border image on the right side of the three and a half by four and three quarter inch panel. Whether it's the basic white or the, um, or, or the um, very vanilla, whichever color you are using in your design. All right. Once you've stamped that, this is also the opportunity for you to go ahead if you're adding an inside sentiment to add that to your card now, to that panel. All right. Clue number four. That stamped panel that you just created, add that to the coordinating colored cardstock with your choice of adhesive. Mine, of course, is liquid glue. I don't know what your favorite is, but mine is liquid glue. <laughs> So your color, your color coordinated uh, panel should be your three and three quarter by five inch panel. Okay. Clue number five. Now we're gonna add your panel that you just created and we're gonna add that to the largest DSP panel side that you folded. That should be on the one of the mount, the valley sides, okay? Because remember you did uh, valley, mountain, valley, right? So you wanna be on the valley side. All right, anybody have a clue yet as to where we're going with this one? <laughs> I, I love this card so much when I did it. Um, the inspiration came from my upline, Connie Stewart, um, and I saw her card and or her project, and um, I tweaked it just a little bit, um, but I just had to redo it. So there you have that. All right, so now that you've created that, added that panel, 
we're going to take that entire DSP panel and we're going to add that to the four and one quarter inch colored cardstock with adhesive, okay? So you'll need to continue to burnish that fold. I know I kept burnishing throughout the entire time just to make sure that my fold stayed flat. So continue to burnish the DSP folds as needed in the project. All right, now we're gonna move on to decorating the front of the card. Is, am I going too fast? If you're watching the replay, just hit hashtag replay, y'all. And um, of course, you can always go back and pause the video. All right, clue number seven. We're starting to decorate the, in, the outside of the card now, our pa front panel. Now you have one piece of basic white that's remaining or, or very vanilla, whichever one you choose. Sorry, y'all, my dogs are coming in. I don't know if you can hear the little toenails, <laughs> but they're coming in. Anyway, on that, that uh, remaining piece of basic white, you are gonna stamp the sentiment, whatever your out, outer sentiment is going to be. Where you put that sentiment is completely up to you. Heat emboss it if you'd like. That's what I did with mine because y'all know that's what I tend to do with my, my, my sentiments. I do tend to heat emboss them. And if you're going to also add another image on the outer panel, now is your time to stamp that and color that as needed. This was a quick one, y'all. We're oh, all right. It's almost time. <clears throat> this is gonna be a quick one. Two of my clues printed on the same sheet. I didn't want to cheat. Get ahead of time. All right. So clue number eight. You're gonna take that panel that you just designed, and you're gonna adhere that to its coordinating colored cardstock and that co coordinating colored cardstock should be two and three quarter by four and one quarter now if you wanted to you could use um your choice of adhesive you could use uh foam tape dimensionals regular um stamp and seal whatever your your choice of adhesive um to adhere to that clue number nine is we're gonna add that panel now the one you just did and you're gonna add that to the front of the dsp panel okay so when, you add, when you're adding this to the designer series paper panel, make sure that you're paying attention to where you're putting adhesive so that you don't seal your panels shut, okay? So maybe about a half inch, yeah, I think maybe about a half inch of the, um, this pan, the panel you just created, maybe about a half inch of that should have adhesive on it, okay? And I bet you wondered where the ribbon came in. Well, anybody need anything explained on that one? Let me know and I'll try to answer for you. All right, so we're going to tie a knot bow. What is a knot bow? What I call a knot bow is one where I do, let me find some ribbon here. You can tie whatever kind of ribbon you want, but in my, my project, what I created, I needed a knot bow. All 
Let me, sh let me grab a piece of ribbon here. I asked my friends in my stamping group earlier today when we were meeting um, what their tips and ideas were for um, securing like ribbon when they've already done it. And somebody said they use rubber bands. I think it was Kathy said that. So anyway, what is a knot bow? So here you have, um, I'm just going to tie a knot. It's not a square knot because I'm not doing... Um, left over right, right over left. I'm just doing a simple knot. Okay? And that's what I call a knot bow. Okay? Something like this is what I call a knot bow. Okay? And then you would trim the edge ends. Put a little DSP on, uh, not DSP, a little glue dot on each, on the knot itself, and then adhere it to your project, and you would have a little knot bow right there. It's a, one of those full bow or cheat bows that I tend to use when, because, of course, you know, tying bows tend to defeat me. All right, clue number 11. You guys, you're done with this card. All you need to do now is uh, do a little couple of um, embellishments. Um However you choose, whatever embellishments you choose based upon what you've created. And um, card is done. I am going to upload a picture of the project, the card that I made. I'm going to create a Pinterest board. I would love it if you guys, when you created uh, whatever cards you created used the, using the, um, the clues tonight, if you would go ahead and pin them to that board. That way I can see what you've created and everybody else can see what amazing talent you got okay you guys that's it for the um let me share with you i'm going to share with you a picture first yes and then i'm going to show you the real thing so did your card look anything like this i love it when i took a picture when i did this i was amazed and here it is in in person. So when you open this card, you're able to see all sides of the designer series paper. So what I did with this card, let me share with you. Here's my little knot bow. I heat embossed my sentiment and my sentiment came from the stamp set um, Growth Takes Time. It is an online exclusive product. Um, it's not in any Stampin' Up! catalog. It's only available in, in the um, online online store. I used the um, inked and tiled stamp set. And what I did was I colored the, um, the stamp on the block using the Stampin' Right markers, okay? So, I, and, um, so my base color was um, Wild Wheat. And then I took a sponge dauber and I daubed in some um, Moody Mauve and a little bit of Cajun Craze. And then I did a little practice the huffing technique and then I stamped it right on the, the panel. Then I added a couple of little gems, okay? So the inside of the card, I used the same technique. This is the, um, again, this is still the inked and tiled. This is my featured stamp set of the of the month, and I used the same coloring technique, okay? I used here Boho Blue, I used Pebbled Path, and then I used Wild Wheat for the, um, the leaves. <laughs> I told you this is where I got it from my upline. Connie is my upline. I loved this card. And it was so simple, so easy to make. I did adjust my, um, I adjusted everything a little bit because Con when Connie did this, the designer series paper was the base. Yeah, so I ended up um, shortening that by a quarter inch so that I could have my quarter inch, my panel be five and a quarter 
uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. I had the little bit of the cardstock be the backing. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this card tonight. I really enjoyed it. I think it was fun. I used, um, this is retired, I think this is retired paper from nature was it nature's harvest i can't remember but when i always as always most times when i'm trying out a new project i tend not to use current things and in some of the online um i wasn't in the mood for christmas so i didn't want to do i didn't want to do uh the christmas 12 by 12 that came with the mini catalog so stay tuned for more of this i will go ahead and post that so again, if you see anything in the products that I, that I used in my pro project that you would like to use, don't forget to use the host code. This host code will expire on the 31st of August. Um, again, oh, and Sue, don't forget, because I think you shopped with me last month. Don't forget to use your $5 um, bonus coupons. I think you earned a couple, so make sure you use them. They expire um, on August 31st, okay? So don't forget to use the host code. You guys, thanks for joining me. If you have, um, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am definitely trying, I'm setting a goal. I would love to reach 300, follow, 300 subscribers by September 30th. So I have 30 days, a little bit more than 30 days. I would love to hit 30, 300 subscribers i'm at 154 i think today so my goal is definitely um my goal is 300 i think it's doable and i would love your help please share like my video and invite invite your other friends families and other stamping enthusiasts to join my facebook page, my youtube page on that note you guys thanks again for joining me um, I will be live again, I think, next Thursday um, for another episode of In the Craft Room. I'm not sure what stamp set yet I'll be using. More than likely, I haven't done Seaside Bay yet. So I think I'm going to, Seaside Bay is a stamp set I'm probably going to play with. I'm not going to start doing Case the Caddies with anything in the new catalog yet because it doesn't go live and I can't share anything on the inside of the catalog as yet. So I'm still going to be working from the annual catalog as much as I can. On that note, you guys, thanks for joining me tonight and happy stamping.